Hi there, I'm Teresa Dufour with today's CT Style Express Report. As we recognize Black History Month, the Community Foundation for Greater New Haven has made a $26 million commitment to address the impact of COVID-19 and to advance racial equity in the region. Now here with the details are the president and CEO of the Community Foundation, Will Ginsburg, along with the chair of the board of directors at the Community Foundation, we have Nick Norcott. Gentlemen, thank you so much for chatting with us via Zoom and making time for this important conversation. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you. All right, so uh, first off, the commitment, Will, is called Stepping Forward. How did it all come together? Well, it really came together, Teresa, this past year, uh, as, as we at the foundation looked at the, frankly, the devastation that, was being, that has been caused by COVID, mm -hmm. uh, economic and health issues, and the way our community has been impacted, and the nonprofit sector that we serve, the way they've been impacted. Uh, we felt that the foundation needed to step forward in ways we never have before. At the same time, you know, the impact of COVID has been particularly uh, deep on communities of color. Uh, and uh, so we feel this is, a, this is a moment when we have to step forward for communities of color, in particular in our region, and be, for lots of reasons related to what was happening nationally and the terrible incidents of, of anti-Black violence we saw in 2020 across the country, uh, we felt that uh, this, is a, a, this is a time when people are responding to that. So there are opportunities now to mm -hmm. advance racial equity at the same time. So stepping forward is about that too. Sure, and uh, Nick, we'll bring you into the conversation. What, what makes this uh, initiative different and why is it so important to address that racial equity? Well, I think COVID has really exposed a lot of things we knew for long. Um, racial inequities are what I call the second prong of the COVID-19 pandemic. It's the pandemic of perpetual racial inequity that's existed in this country for centuries. What um, the core elements of, uh, of stepping forward really address COVID-19, but also the racial inequity prong. And I think what we try to do, what we're going to try to do with, step, with um, stepping forward is to address the variety of problems, health, education, housing, income disparity. And we're going to be enablers of the caregivers and also the people who volunteer and um, try to address these various problems from whatever perspective they have. Sure, so we know what the issues are and, and there's a plan, but what is really going to make stepping forward a success, do you think? Well, I, I would say uh, a couple of things. I mean, I think from the foundation's perspective, we felt that one thing we needed to do here was, was, uh, was to have more resources. So stepping mm -hmm. forward is about additional resources. So we will have significantly more dollars at our disposal. We've done something we've never done before, which is go deeper into our endowment for 2021 and the next couple of years than we ever have before, just to have more resources. At the same time, we wanna reach out to elements of our community that we don't always touch as much as we should. And we're reaching out and we're listening and we're engaging uh, people and institutions, uh, uh, the people I call the change makers in our community. Mm -hmm. We are, you know, we have a 90 plus year history of supporting the service providers. Uh, we're gonna do a lot of that through stepping forward, but we're also gonna be supporting the change makers. So success to me is about helping our community. I would say three things, Teresa, helping our community deal with these terrible impacts of COVID supporting the change makers to take advantage of this moment when there are real opportunities to advance racial equity and getting other people in the community and other institutions in the community to step forward too, because there's only so much that we can do as, as the community foundation. So as the general public hears about this initiative, how can they take part? How can they help? Well, I mean, Go if, ahead, I, Nick. if I will, just to start off, I think uh, this is a great opportunity for all of us to come together because we, with Stepping Forward, don't have all the answers. We are really trying to be a collaboration, uh, to create a collaboration of people, organizations, institutions who can help us with Stepping Forward. Um, individually, a person could give to COVID-19 Relief Fund through the foundation. It could support any nonprofit through the Great Give. It could volunteer, that would be a great way 
of um, helping out and being a great part of stepping forward mm -hmm. and really share their thoughts uh, and feedback and give us feedback on how stepping forward is progressing. There you go. Well, we're just touching the tip of the iceberg here. If you'd like to participate in stepping forward or learn more, all you have to do is go to the website cfgnh.org. You can find a lot of resources there. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being part of this and for making time for us today. Teresa, thank you. Thank you so much. Our Thank pleasure. you. That's our CT Style Express report. We'll see you back here tomorrow.